The Power of the Russo Brothers. Who? Russo Brothers. I don't know who that is. The part of the reason the budget for Citadel is so high is because there were creative differences between them and the showrunner at the time. And the showrunner left and they got the decisions made creatively that they wanted, which typically that is not the case, kids. Typically, the showrunner is the big... And that made me wonder, are there showrunners for the shows? I know they call them the executive producers there. Maybe that's all they are. But do the TV series in India have showrunners like we do? Where that's like the one who has full creative control over every aspect of the show? Probably. I mean, yeah. the people... Do they not- call them showrunners, though? Because like, typically, that's what executive producing used to be. Mm-hmm. But, but typically... If there's a battle between your showrunner and your director, the directors are the ones that leave. But not with the Russo brothers, my friend. It might be... I mean, there's probably still... Obviously, people with the money are usually the ones that... Especially with big commercials. Yeah, stuff. especially in TV. But also, India is unique in the fact that its directors are also megastars. So, like, S.S. Rajamulis of the world. Yeah. Um, the Shaw Zoyas or whoever, whoever um, all have, like, extreme power yeah and they people go see just for their films as well yeah but also if it's like a first time like the guy who directed ran veer's film this past year he probably if like it was a much bigger film i don't know if like the exec producer might have been the one that has the power because yeah i just didn't know if they would call them showrunners because i haven't heard that term in india television yeah i don't know yeah well maybe karen johar that's what i thought Hey, welcome back to Rosie. Better than give more than. Better than. Hup. Shiver. Shura. Shiver. Better than. 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 Or Nunbar. Or Nunbar. And it's A-R- a, a, a Rayman. Tamil gangster film. Cool. And uh, it's coming out in two parts, apparently. It's like Gangs of Wasper, I guess. Nice. Um, and so just a little bit of info. Yeah, this is, uh, forgive the mispronunciation, but I know about this film. You know about this film? I've heard about this film. Have you? Yep. From who? I heard it through the grapevine. More like the masala vine, because it's India. That was Subin. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> 
September 15th. Yeah, September 15th. That took a tonal shift, didn't it? It did a little bit. Like in the beginning, it was like gangster, 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 and then it, and it almost became more gentle with the song behind it. Yeah, almost like a story of love to survive. Well, I'm sure it's obviously a part of it will probably be someone's love story. And yeah. The next scene after that will be their love getting shot. Or yeah. <laughs> something like that to make us care for the characters. But yeah, it took a major tonal shift to there. Yeah. It looked cool. I mean, it looked like the acting would be good, and that it was like it would be like kind of this gritty kind of tale um it's just I, I don't know that i would have yeah and how had that tonal shift in how there. gritty i don't know if they're holding their cards close to the vest for lack of a better term and in, in in regard to if it's gonna be gangs ish is it going to have the same kind of gritty dangerous well part uh, of it violence that takes like place it, would. it did for a second but then it yeah. it then it, it kind of Tamed, and I don't know if that's the scope of the film or if that was just the the the, the scope of the trailer. Yeah, um, but it looked it looks good. It looks like it like it like visually like it'd be, yeah, it look like a nice As acting looks good. Acting looks good. Um, all that kind of stuff. I doubt the music will be any good. Yeah, because I mean, what's he's never actually done anything. No, and it's really hard to sit through films he's scored because it's just so never right. You know, it's just always. I mean, it's it's shocking he's had a career. You don't tell them you're joking. No, because if they don't know I'm joking, then I can't help them understand. <laughs> I don't remember my IMDb past. It's like him and John Williams or Hans Zimmer, all these overrated composers that have been just given awards left and right. Just, you know. What's, um, what's um, Hans Zimmer's worst score to you? Worst. Yeah, everybody always asks Bats, what's his worst to you? Ugh, I'd have to look through the page of his stuff because I can't think of one that's bad. So, But just not as good as the others, what is it? I, I, I honestly don't know. I'd have to look at his filmography because he's done so many films and be reminded of one that's not good. Um... I don't base them on popularity, but I, I can't think of a score. It's truly, it's like A.R. Rahman. I've not heard a score done that isn't good. Okay. I, now, there are some that stand out more to me because they just do, but I would need to see his, I really would need to, again, you think of one off the top of your head of a Hans Zimmer score? All of them. All trash. Um, what's he done? Who? The director. That's what I'm trying to. I'm trying oh, to, I'm trying to see if we've known anything. And it that was Subin, right? It, like, I don't know, because the moment you said it? it's Subin, I was looking down at the uh, words, the subs. Oh, I can't log into my uh, my IMDb Pro. I know. Oh well. Anyways, looked cool. Looked interesting. What do you think? Yeah, you, what do you think about this trailer and anything other information that we need to know and what should be our next Damal film that we watch? Please let us know down below. <laughs>